Schools have always emphasized grades, points, and test scores. Hi, I'm Garrett Boyum here reporting for KOP. Today we're going to look at whether or not this is true or not. We're going to talk to some teachers and some students to find out what they think about this issue. One of the things that is most frustrating for me as a teacher is that there seems to be a great emphasis on the part of students uh, on grades and points. When people ask me what I do for a living, I tell them, I'm a teacher. I'm not a point giver and I'm not a grader. Particularly for high school students, their post-secondary plans, so much emphasis is put on GPA and grades and test scores that that's where the focus is. But I also think we teach them to get focused on grades just through the lower part of our educational system. It's kind of, you know, get it right, do it until it's right, you know, that kind of stuff. And so I think they learn it from us. It's something that stems from grade school up. I mean, it used to be we got gold stars and uh, little check pluses, and those were the things that showed us we were doing well. But it, it became about the gold star rather than having that be a useful kind of feedback. Uh, and so I think we've long departed from a time when, when grades work as a useful form of feedback to grades are what it's all about. But, you know, it makes perfect sense in our society. Uh, that's the message that we get from the universities, that you have to have the GPA to get in. It's the message that we get from parents. And then a lot of parent-teacher conferences, much more than how is the student doing in class, uh, they want to know, well, what's their grade? Um, and I've even had conferences where I've, on purpose, not told the parent the grade. I've said, yeah, uh, Garrett is doing great in class, he's engaged, he's uh, clearly enjoying reading the books, his writing is pretty good, there's some places where we need to do some improving in that, but we're, we're working on that. And I'll go through a lot of feedback about how the student's doing, and then ultimately it comes down to that, well, what's he getting, what's the grade? Now he's got, he's got a B plus. And then the parent is satisfied and they'll get up and move on to the next conference. So I understand where the kids are getting it. They're getting it from their parents. And I think what we emphasize, or at least the students perceive what is important, is um, getting good grades, getting high points, grade point average, um, testing how well they do, and seemingly to compare themselves to others. It's all about the points in the grading, I really feel. Because if you don't get good grades in high school, in junior high, and elementary school, you don't go to a good college. And if you don't go to a good college, you're not going to get respect from your fellow colleagues. Test scores basically are kind of like here, this is what my school did, and this is why my school is so good. The main thing is just we're doing it just because it looks good for politics. It looks good on a bumper sticker. The system typically pits kids against each other. It makes them competitive for grades. And when you do that, it becomes a win-lose kind of situation. And I think that undermines what we really want, and which I think we really want, is for students to learn skills that they can transfer into real life. A lot of times people talk about a good job uh, in terms of how much money they'll make, not in terms of how much they want to go and do that job. It would be great if the bigger part of the student's job was learning rather than the accumulation of points. And yet that seems to be the great emphasis. T.S. Eliot, great poet, said that the highest treason is to do the right thing for the wrong reason. And so students who study and do their homework and learn their lessons are doing a good thing. It's the right thing. But if the only purpose they're doing it for is the points or the grades, then T.S. Eliot would call that a kind of treason. Well, there you have it. It's up for you to decide whether or not our school puts the emphasis on the right thing. More importantly, do you put the emphasis on the right thing? Remember, it's about learning, not about the grade. I'm Garrett Boyle, reporting for KF.